Today's cook with me is I am going to be making some stove top and oven barbecue chicken. Um, the reason why I'm doing it stove top way is because it's a little bit late and I do not want to run the risk of dinner taking extremely long. So I am going to be doing um, my barbecue partially on the stove and then finish it off in the oven, um, mainly to kind of speed up the process, right? So what I have here is a pack of leg quarters that I got from Publix. It has about four leg quarters in it, which may or may not be enough, um, but I thought I ordered two. I guess I didn't, so it is what it is. Uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and get my water going for me to clean my chicken. So I'm going to squeeze some lemon into my water. Okay, drop the skins in there. And then I'm also going to put some salt in my water. And that is what I'm going to use to clean my chicken before um, we do the rest. So I am going to bring you guys over here. You guys know I always do my cook with me. Majority of the time I do it live. So that's another reason why you guys always see my camera moving. And then I'm using my little baby cutting board. Um, don't ask me why, that's just what I chose to use. And I'm gonna leave the skin on, but with me leaving the skin on, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some holes in my chicken okay and then i'm going to use that to kind of help that process of my chicken um cooking and well seasoned and then of course i'm also going to be using my moon spice on my chicken today i'm actually going to be using the dry rub moon spice rather than the wet version the last time we did barbecue chicken i used the wet moon spice so today I'm going to be using the dry rub, which will be coming out really, really soon. Now for some of my leg quarters, the thigh is really, really big. So what I'm going to do is split my thigh in half. Um, I don't have any kitchen shears, which I plan on doing an Amazon haul soon where I'm going to get some more kitchen utensils. But that's just not really my focus at this very second. So I'll be doing an Amazon haul on my downtime. Um, over the next few weeks, hopefully the next few days, but I'll probably do it on Black Friday. <laughs> so while Elite Bobo Friday is going on, um, on Black Friday, I'll be shopping on Amazon for some new items for my kitchen haul and also my lady room. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split these big leg quarters into two, which is really, really simple. I usually just bend them like that and then take my knife and just cut them in half like that and then drop them in the water. Leg quarters are very big pieces of meat to me for some reason or another. So I'm gonna be kind of doing like a jerk barbecue blend so you guys will get to see how I do that. And jerk seasoning can be used to season your food on the regular. It doesn't always make it super spicy. So jerk seasoning is not always super duper spicy, you guys. You can have jerk seasoning in the mild form and then just use it to fragrant your food rather than to make your food spicy. So I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna make that jerk barbecue. I'm just letting my chicken do its thing. And then this is my final leg quarter. Look at these humongous drums. I am not a fan, but this is what I got today. And we don't really like white meat so much. Like if I have wings, that's the only time I'm like a big white meat fan. Or if I buy like Popeyes or something, I'm not a dark meat person. But for something like what I'm doing today, which is like barbecue or if I'm making some type of like hibachi or something else then that is typically when you guys will see me use a mixture sometimes i do fried chicken with the whole chicken i 
All right. So our chicken is now in the sink. There we go. With our water and lemon and salt. If you don't have any vinegar, you can use rum, you can use vinegar, you can use salt, you can use lemon, you can use lime. It really doesn't matter. It works just the same, okay? And then what I do at the end with my lemons or my limes is I cut them into small pieces and then I use it to clean my garbage disposal um, of any odor. So, you know, lemons and limes are nice antibacterial fruits to use. Take that out, and then I'm going to rinse it again. chicken is here so what we're gonna do is I am going to add my aromatics to my chicken which is not much okay so the only aromatics that I'm going to add to the chicken today is my ginger and my garlic and then I have some mild Walker jerk sauce. Okay, so the mild one. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take a couple cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna use my little grater here. These are little, so. The little big pieces, those can go in there. So this is just some garlic that I'm gratering. Hey dad. And then I have some ginger here as well. So how you get the skin off of ginger, you just scrape it. I'm not gonna do this whole thing with ginger. Is it? Take some ginger. Hey. All 
right, so we got our ginger, we got our garlic. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of our Walker jerk sauce. I'm just gonna use the tip of my spoon. Add some Walker jerk sauce. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and add my dry seasonings, including my moon spice. So I'm gonna start with, of course, some black pepper. You don't need a lot. Remember you have the Walker jerk sauce there or jerk seasoning. I'm gonna add a little bit of adobo for the salt content. Remember, Moon Spice is not high in salt, you guys. So you can add more salt to your food should you choose to do so. Um, and then I have my dry Moon Spice in the larger version. Most of you have the four ounce wet Moon Spice on the way, okay? So I have both. Okay, so we have our dry and we have our wet. I have my wet version here, which I actually keep in my cabinet, you guys. And then I also have the dry rub, which the dry rub will be available come December. You'll have access to both. They are both four ounces. Some people prefer dry over wet. I like both. In this case, today, I'm going to be using the dry. Let me make sure my spoon is dry. All right, so I'm going to take my, this is about equate, equate to about two tablespoons. I don't think I'm gonna need so much because it is dry, so it's a lot stronger. So I put my moon spice on my chicken. And then we have our Walker jerk seasoning. If you wanna make it a little more spicy, you can. In the meantime, I'm gonna get my pan going so that it is nice and hot. I'm gonna put on a glove just because I have the jerk seasoning and I don't want to go put that on and then I rub my face. And... So then we're just going to mix this up. Now remember, I am putting this on the stove first to kind of help make the skin nice and crispy, make the outside, not necessarily more say crispy, you know, but just to kind of help the cooking process, right? And then I also forgot to put holes inside my thighs. So let's do that really quick. And that's another reason why I like these stainless steel pans because if it was plastic, it would definitely puncture. Let's make sure all my chicken have seasoning on it. Okay, moon spice can be a complement to any other spices that you want to use, okay? So it's not spicy. Moon spice is a spice blend. So it's not spicy. When we say moon spice, that's just because that's the shortened name. It's really moon spice blend, you guys, okay? So the word is moon spice blend. It's not spicy per se. So you can actually add spice. If I wanted to add some cayenne pepper, some red pepper flakes, some scotch bonnet, whatever, I can add that to my meat. Now, of course, traditionally, if you want your meat to have a ton of flavor, you could have seasoned this up this morning, put it in your fridge in a Ziploc bag, went to work, got home, and then your chicken would taste like, you know? Yeah, but um, I didn't do that because my life wasn't set up that way. So <laughs> I did not get a chance to season up meat early in the morning. I, I barely can get up early in the morning, so that not gonna work. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the stove. So let's bring you guys on over. Okay, so I just have this little pan right here going. It's nice and hot, it's a little too hot. So I'm gonna put some oil in my pan. So I'm going to put some vegetable oil in my pan here. Let me turn my stove down just a little bit. Okay, enough to coat the bottom, but at the same time to make my chicken nice and crispy. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my pieces of chicken. Now this is not to cook the chicken. This is to really add, to kind of par cook the chicken and also make that crispy. So I'm gonna put those in. I'm gonna put the skin side down. Skin side down, okay? Just like that. 
We are not going to be cooking the chicken thoroughly. We're not trying to cook the chicken all the way through. We're starting the cooking process, okay? Adding some color to our chicken, and then we're gonna put it in the oven in a pan. I'm not gonna put it in the oven in this pan because of course it's not big enough. But I'm gonna put it in the oven in a pan as I was saying before. So the pan that I'm gonna use is this. Um, had it for a very long time. I don't have any disposable pans today, but that's fine. It's gonna go in there in this. The good thing is I don't have to add any oil or spray to the pan because the chicken has been pre fried, so it will not stick. Okay, it won't stick. My stove is turned up to high. Very important. My stove is on high. I really just want to add some color to my skin start to kind of pre-cook my chicken and then when I put it in the oven I will cover it with foil paper and finish it off and then that's really all we gotta do like this is a fast way of getting the chicken done if you don't want to sit here and wait two hours for the chicken to thoroughly cook through in the oven you can pre-fry your chicken or brown your chicken and then throw it in the oven so my oven is already set to 450 degrees um, and that's already preheated, so it's nice and hot. When I put these in, I don't really have to cook twice. I'm checking my chicken for color. That is all. So it'll take us no more than about 20 minutes to kind of pre-brown, pre-fry our chicken, get it kind of going, and then put it in the oven. You can add adobo, you can add oregano, you can add lemon pepper, you can add just about any other seasonings, no problem, right? Absolutely. I add whatever seasonings I want. I add whatever seasonings I want. Can you heat behind over the chicken? Can't hear you. Oh, sorry, you guys can't hear me? Can you guys hear me? Okay, good. I just want to make sure you guys can hear me. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and turn my chicken over. Okay, as I said, we're not frying the chicken to cook the chicken. We're just pre-frying the chicken, adding a little bit of color so that when we put it in the oven, it is ready to go. Now, of course, the chicken is going to be slightly dark because we did add that waffle jerk seasoning to it. Had it only been moon spice, the season chicken would have just a nice caramelized color, very pretty, but that waffle jerk seasoning is dark, so it's going to make the chicken appear to be dark. Alright, so while that's going, I actually have my turkey that I am going to use the moon spice dry rub on, okay? I thought I had a basting needle, um, for me to be able to inject the turkey, but I have to buy one tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go ahead and dry season my turkey. So that means fried turkey. So I'm gonna be using the dry moon spice for the fried turkey. So I'm gonna go ahead and season that up today and then it will go into the freezer until tomorrow. And then probably the day of me frying it, I'm gonna go ahead and inject it. So just for the sake of the seasoning, I'm going to season it today because I want my turkey to taste like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello, Sade. You coming to work tomorrow? Are you, are you coming to work tomorrow, Sade with the receipt? Or no? Talk to me. Are you coming to work tomorrow? I or, know. Or so I'm going to really want to talk about anything else unless you're coming to work tomorrow. If not, I'm going to tell that topic to block you in the comments. Okay, so we're going to block you in the comments. So, Grace, for today, we're going to block Sade because she's not allowed to be on the live. If I cannot come on work tomorrow, you cannot be on the live and not be at work. I'm sorry. 
Yeah. You cannot be on the live and not come to work. All right, so <laughs> I'm just joking, y'all. All right, so I'm going to put my chicken in my pan here. Okay, the chicken is not thoroughly cooked, you guys. Okay, your chicken is not thoroughly cooked. I'm going to go ahead and put it in my pan, though. So what we have done is we've locked in the flavor from the moon spice, from the um, Walker Dirt seasoning, from our ginger, all of that. So that's what we did that for. You don't want to try your pan. You do want to give your chicken space to breathe. Very important. All right, so in the meantime, in between time, I'm going to wash up these little bit of plates so that I can get my um, turkey ready. And I'm going to actually soak my turkey in some lemon and salt before I do anything else. So while that's going, here's my turkey that I bought yesterday at the grocery store. Okay, so I got a 10 pound turkey that was $5.13. It was on sale for 42 cents a pound. I didn't need no big old turkey. And yes, I am gonna fry my turkey. Okay, so I'm gonna just put that bacon in there. Turkey. Take out a little giblet and all of that stuff. Alright, so I have a lemon here. Let me and I'm just gonna split my lemon into four because it's big. Okay, so I'm gonna take my lemon. This probably isn't the best bowl in size, but it's going to work. Mm -hmm. Typical salt. Salt, my little boy here. The salt is not for seasoning, you guys. The salt is for really clean my little my little boy here and then i'm just gonna rub him with a little bit of lime or lemon whichever you have same thing Let that baby sit there and, and, and do its thing. So in the meantime of that sitting there, let's let's look and chat. I'm just gonna let that little baby sit in there. Go and do its thing.
Crystal, do you have siblings? How many? I have two siblings. I have a little brother or a younger brother, and then I have a younger sister. So yes, I have two siblings. Oh, well, actually three. I'm so sorry. I have two younger sisters, which my youngest is Monique. She's going to kill me for not counting her. And then I have my younger sister, Brianna, who is next after Monique. And then I have my younger brother, Howard, a.k.a. Mooney, number two. And he's the second in line. So I already flipped my chicken over. So that's doing its thing right now. Can you guys hear me well? My last pieces of chicken are in the pan. My turkey is right here. He's stewing in his bath. I'm just cleaning up my little sink here. Also, as a reminder, you guys, outside of the Elite Bogo Friday sale, Flames Up will also be having a sale for all of your husbands, sons, uncles, brothers, friends. Doesn't have to necessarily be male. Um, you'll have access to some different bundle kits in regards to um, discretionables. Uh, what else you have? The men's line, that'll be bundled on Black Friday. Um, sweatshirt, a couple of different things. Make them a little bit of rice. 
corn. So my chicken is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these pieces, put them here. Okay, so you guys see? I have one more piece in there. And then this we're actually gonna use to make our sauce. So I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna use this to make our sauce in just a moment. We're gonna use the same pan that we use to brown our chicken to put in the oven. So this is gonna go in the oven now, and then we're gonna make our sauce. This will be in the oven for about 30 minutes, maybe a little bit more or less, okay? Because our chicken is partially cooked. I'm gonna turn my stove off for a second. And then I'm gonna put this in the oven. So our oven is at 450 degrees. Okay, so while the oven is going, I'm just gonna be refilling my little storage containers. So we have our fryer from last year, but tomorrow I have to go and buy a new pot. Um, I'm one of those people where men I wash no pot. Not no turkey frying pot. So I threw the pot away, but I kept the other part. I did the quick wash today, just so everybody knows. I didn't do the 1700 washes today. The quick wash. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. Hey, son. Christian. Christian. Turn on, you have a fan in there? Um, I don't 
Okay. All right, so I'm gonna set my rice cooker. And then in the meantime, in between time, I'm gonna put some corn on the stove. Really, really easy. I buy frozen corn. I don't. I'm just gonna get my pan. spice that's it a little sprinkle literally that's it nothing more and then I add a little bit of butter and that's all so this is the dry moon spice that I'm adding and then I add about two tablespoons of butter because butter makes everything better and that much water and then this baby goes on the stove and I just let it do its thing so you can use moon spice for basically anything. <coughs> That's another thing with that Walker jerk sauce. No business if it have pepper or not. I think make your nose run, especially because I fried it. So you're gonna hear a lot of caution until it dissipates. So what I'm gonna do, <laughs> turn it on high so that we can get all the smoke out any. And then we're gonna just wash our turkey and get this part out of the way. Turkey, kind of soaking. And then I got my gizzard, my liver.
right, so we got our little bird here. I'm gonna keep it together because I want it together. I'm even gonna keep the butt. Okay, we're gonna keep the butt. Doing the butt. Mm, I fix it, fix it. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a mixture of my seasoning so that my bird is seasoned the same way. All over. So what I have here is I have a glass bowl, and I'm gonna show you guys the seasonings that I'm gonna take out to do this. So we have black pepper, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys. I have my black pepper, one good amount. Okay, so we got black pepper. Now of course for this, I'm gonna use dry moon spice, the dry one, but I'm going to sift it. Because I do not want the peppercorns and such. To ever find things in here. Ah, here we are. All right, so I'm going to take my strainer, I'm going to take my moon spice. I'm gonna sift out, this is three tablespoons of moon spice. I think I'm gonna do four. And then I'm just gonna sift out any of the larger aromatics in it. Because remember, I'm frying this turkey. So what I don't want is to have anything that is gonna potentially add more fire or burn in my oil. So that's also the reason why I'm sifting it so that I can get all the peppercorns and stuff out of it. Remember you guys, for those of you that pre-ordered the Moon Spice, you're going to get the wet version. The dry one will not be available until sometime in December. Now whatever I sifted out, I just put right back into my large batch of Moon Spice. Remember that. Alright. Now we're going to take a little bit of cayenne pepper. Okay. So I'm going to add some cayenne pepper to it. I'm not trying to make it super spicy, but remember you guys, this is a turkey. Okay? If you don't know, turkey is one of those things where it is the driest meat because it doesn't absorb anything. So that's another reason why I'm adding a little bit of the cayenne to give it a nice little kick. I'm also going to add some onion powder. garlic powder. I'm going to take my spoon, mix this baby up. Now whatever you don't use, you can always put away because guess what? You have so much that you're cooking on Thanksgiving. You can add this seasoning to almost anything that you're going to cook on Thanksgiving. So it's not like this is in vain. It's not in vain. Okay, I'm just making sure that my turkey is going to be seasoned nice and even. If you guys notice, I did not add any salt to this. You can add salt, but I am not adding any salt. If you brine your turkey, then you brine your turkey. You don't need to add any salt. Okay? All right, good. So here's how I'm going to season my turkey. I'm going to clear my counter real quick. This is called a plastic bag. If you've never seen one of these, I highly recommend you go to your neighborhood market and you ask them, hey, do you have any plastic bags that I could take that you don't mind me taking, okay? So this is called a plastic bag. 
Ooh, I need everybody to say it with me. Ooh, ah, okay. These are plastic bags. Now, color does not really matter. You can use whatever color you choose. You use this as a processing cap, so do I. I use it as a rice steamer. I use it as a processing cap, okay? I use it as all that. All right, good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this big guy and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put him inside the plastic bag. Don't worry, he won't be offended by you putting him in the plastic bag. I promise. If anything, he'll be more offended that you're gonna cook him more than anything else. That's kind of where he'd be more offended. And then I'm gonna take my little gristle, which is my neck, my gizzard, my liver. I'm also gonna throw those into this plastic bottle. All right, so where I'm gonna start seasoning is right inside his cavity here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my spoon and I'm gonna sprinkle all this good seasoning inside his cavity. Okay, remember this is a dry seasoning, you guys. It's dry. You see all inside these little gristles right here? Go ahead and sprinkle some inside there. You see wherever there's a little opening? You're gonna just put some in there. You see under the skin here, right here where the breast is? I'm gonna take my two fingers and I'm just gonna open it up. Now make sure you don't puncture it, you just gonna open it up. You're gonna lift your baby up. You're gonna take your spoon and you're gonna put some of your seasoning down in the back by the breast. Remember, this is the driest part of your turkey. So we're gonna put some in there. So we're gonna rub him up. Then we're gonna take some on our hand, like lotion. Yeah? And we're gonna rub up this baby. Mm -hmm. Rub him up real nice. Remember, this is like lotion. Act like you're lotioning your skin. Remember, this is a turkey. And a turkey nice and dry like skin. So just like how y'all would rub up our after shower oil, you're gonna rub up your turkey the same way. Mm -hmm. If you don't know how to put on lotion, then you will not know how to season a turkey. All right. So. Right now, my baby here, come, don't come out of the bag. Don't, don't be disrespectful. Come back into the bag. I don't want to lose your season, huh? Mm -hmm. Now take your hand now and just gonna make sure you rub up inside, rub up inside the cavity of your turkey. Remember, I'm frying this turkey. So my turkey needs to be well seasoned and ready. Okay? All right, you see, this side now, you know like when you have a, if you have a child, then you will understand this. You always have to lotion their back. Take your spoon, and rub them up real nice, real, real nice. Mm-hmm, massage for turkey, man. Rub it up like lotion, yeah. Get the elbow, remember, the elbow. Very important. All right, good. So the finishing touch to this now is I'm gonna take my knife and I'm just gonna give it a couple pokes. Just a couple, okay? Because remember, our turkey's gonna be sitting and sucking in all the seasoning over time. Today is what? Monday. Some people season their turkey from our three weeks ago. There's no right or wrong way for this. To the gristle, I'm gonna now take the gristle. This is what we call a gristle, and I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of the spice on my gristle and rub them up real good and just kind of stick them right here in my little cavity here so they can also absorb. Okay, and it's gonna help to make my cavity absorb too. So I'm gonna stick these into the cavity. All right, see my knife? I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna insert it right into the breast, just like this, okay? Because remember, I still have to go and make my baste that's gonna go in and get injected into my turkey. 
So I'm gonna then, after all of this is done now, this has been sitting, my little butter, my Cajun butter or whatever that I'm gonna make, I'm gonna put it in my baster and then I'm gonna inject it into my turkey before I fry my turkey. So the night before I go to fry my turkey, which is that Wednesday night, I'm gonna take my turkey out of my oven, out of my freezer, and I'm gonna put my turkey down to let it thaw. While it's thawing, it's still absorbing all of this seasoning. And then I'm gonna go ahead and inject it, and then I'm gonna cover it back up, and I'm gonna put it in my fridge. But today, I'm gonna just go ahead and tie my turkey. You gotta tie it nice and tight so that it has nowhere to escape. Okay, make sure you tie it so that you can untie it when it's time for you to put your brine and all that on you. Okay, so I'm not tying it to where I can't untie it. I'm just giving it a loose tie to make sure that it's nice and snug. This is my final tie. Okay, so I use three bags because you know bags burst. So I wanted to make sure that nothing could escape, okay? So this is now gonna go into the freezer because today is Monday. Now, had I started, <coughs> excuse me, had I um, just bought the turkey yesterday or today, then I could have just put it in the refrigerator. In this case, I bought this turkey, what, two days ago, maybe, I think? Or maybe yesterday or something like that. But it's already fully thawed, so I'm gonna have to put this into the freezer or you can put it in the refrigerator, but for me, I'm just gonna put it in the freezer and then I will unthaw it, put it in the sink Wednesday morning so that it can unthaw for me to fry it on Thursday. So this is gonna go. And that is how I season my turkey for me to fry it on Thanksgiving day. And this is a small turkey, so frying it is only gonna take me like less than an hour. I don't have a lot that I have to do to fry it. And then my extra seasoning, which is another reason why I use a spoon with my extra seasoning rather than my hand. I'm gonna put that into a Ziploc bag. This is my seasoning. Because guess what? I'm making chicken, I'm making all these other things on Thanksgiving. And I can use this seasoning that's already pre-mixed for my food. I'm gonna set that over there and we're all done. Bye, Shade. See you Wednesday, bright and early. All right, so my corn, let me show y'all my corn. This is the corn, y'all see that? Corn. Yeah. I'm going to turn that off. Put my seasonings back. Put this baby in the freezer when I'm done. I'll let it sit there for a second. Let's go check on our chicken. Let's check on our chicken. Now remember when I told you guys, I didn't add any oils or anything. It already is making its own juices, which is perfect. So we're gonna give that a go. Let that go back in there. Eat a little bit of um watermelon. Thank you, Dorothy.
Okay. I'm not playing with you, Shadi. I'll see you Wednesday at 9 o'clock. Come 9.20 if you want. All right, so let's do some hair care Q&A because I know you guys have some hair care questions. Thank you, Dorothy. Kathy, I didn't see an email about gift cards. Let me see. I have to go search because I don't actually look at all the emails. Thank you, Valerie. Yeah. Silicones in the shower with conditioner, I wouldn't use that. How often should you wash low porosity hair? Once every 10 to 14 days. I started swimming in a pool every weekend. Do I have to fully wash my hair each weekend? I'm new to this, I need advice. Um, I wouldn't say wash it every weekend, but wash it as often as possible. But if you're gonna be like, like if you're competitive swimming or something, like with Alex, she couldn't wash her hair every week. So we just kind of had to like rinse it and then like wash her in between braids or she didn't have braids, she had a ponytail where she washed it like every two to three weeks. She couldn't do it every week. It would just dry her hair out even more. I see a very thin area, almost a small bald spot after getting color. Right now I'm using Sulfur 8, but I did order something from you. I've ordered so much, can't remember what, LOL. Hope it helps. <laughs> I purchased a couple of gift cards for two of the moderators. Okay, Kathy, I need to see what we're talking about. What's the best product to use for everyday moisture between shampoos? You do not do moisture every day. You do not do moisture every day. I don't use silicones in the shower. If you're gonna use a silicone, you just use it for like heat protectant and stuff. 
But outside of that, I don't really recommend it. You guys, hold on, please. I'm coming, you guys.
All right. Going back to your emails. I can already see a difference with my stimulant and my weak spots. Thank you so much for all your help. Thank you, Mary. Love your hair products and videos. I saw some older videos with products for curly hair or curl gel. Will you make products for curls again? Yes, soon. Crystal, the plastic will melt. Use string. No, I'm going to take the plastic off. The plastic is not going to stay on the turkey. I'm just using it right now. But when you go to fry the turkey, I don't even use that. I let it just sit on the actual crest of the, the holder. So far, I'm loving your clarifying shampoo. It helps itching of the scalp. Ooh, Marshawn, I'm sure you'll love the Soothe and Balance as well. That is great. It's a dry, itchy solution. What can I use for hair breakage? It depends on why your hair is breaking, Alexis. How can you tell if your hair has split ends going up the shaft of your hair? You'll just notice that it's always very frizzy and the hairs are sticking out been watching your video all of your videos so i know how and when to use your products thank you crystal do i need to use the clarifying shampoo before the elite hair repair shampoo i would suggest it star absolutely would you mind giving and hair care tips for someone with hair who has dreads moisture is definitely always going to be a big issue for you valerie i'd say our moist repair collection or even the moist me deep conditioning mask would be really good for your hair also definitely recommend making sure your hair is thoroughly dry um, after you do your your twists um, that's something that a lot of people with locks don't really pay attention to because you look at it like, oh, yeah, you know, it's locks. It can withstand anything, not knowing that bacteria grows inside those locks. And that, too, can cause popping. It can cause smells. It can cause so many different things. Also, when you're doing your deep conditioning treatments, if you don't have a cap big enough, then use a plastic bag. And I don't recommend leaving it in the hair longer than 15 to 30 minutes and definitely use a hooded dryer if you're going to do a deep conditioning treatment. Kathy, I don't see anything. So if you did send an email, please resend it to info at EliteHairCareUSA.com. Let me try one more time. Yeah, no, I don't see anything from you, Kathy. I want to use the growth serum. I'm thin in the top, but serums can make my hair look oily. I'm Caucasian. What can I do? Crystal, you would actually be using our Nefertiti Serum or the Goddess Super Growth Serum. Both of those serums are water-based serums, so they don't make the hair oily at all, actually. They absorb really, really quickly. And then you can also add the Growth Stimulator tool that will allow you to absorb up to 20 times faster than you just applying it to your scalp directly. So the Super Growth Serum or even the Nefertiti Serum will help you, and they are not, wa they are not oil-based, they are water-based. Thank you, Jamie. You're welcome, Crystal. All right, let's go ahead and make our sauce because our chicken is almost ready. Let's check on the chicken. Okay. 
See that sauce right there? Look at that chicken. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We'll put you guys right here for a second. So you guys see how fast we were able to do that? You can do that nice and quick. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make our sauce. I'm gonna use the same pan that I used when I was making my um my chicken, browning my chicken. Okay, so we're gonna be using, we're gonna be using Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue. I have two. This one was in the fridge, so I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Furthermore, I don't want my sauce way too thick, so this water is gonna help to thin my sauce out. Um, my rice is done. So the reason why I'm using this same pan, number one is for the flavor, and number two, I still have some of my aromatics remaining from when we first browned the chicken. So I have a spoon. So I'm letting this heat up really well. I'll put you guys right here so you can see what's happening. Kathy, I got them. I got them. I got them. So, Kathy, I am going to forward this to Grace right now. I got them, Kathy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the pot. So the reason why I'm putting this in there now is because number one, this had raw chicken in it. So you do wanna make sure that you cook this before you try to add it to sauce. It doesn't even need to be cooked, you guys. It doesn't take much, just a couple of seconds. Then I'm going to add my watered down sauce Kathy, your gift card has been forwarded to Grace. And then I have to open the other email. Thank you so much, Kathy. That was very sweet of you. Thank you so much. All right, so I'm gonna add my rest of my sauce. So remember, the seasoning that was left in the bowl, that was all that moon spice, that was the jerk sauce, right? So I'm just gonna stir this up really good, turn my stove down, I'm gonna get some water. 
You can just take a sock if you want. I'll drain a little bit of water. My spoon is not mixing this well enough, so I'm gonna use a fork. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of ketchup. I'm just eyeballing this, you guys. So remember we have the ginger, we have the garlic, we have the moon spice. We have the Waka Jerk Seasoning. We have all of that in here. Okay, I'm just making sure that it's nice and mixed. All right, so guess what I'm going to do now? I'm going to bring this to a slight bubble. Check for my rice. Right, rice well cooked. Mm -hmm. Rice well cooked. Okay. So I have my chicken here and I have my sauce. Okay, so we got chicken, we got sauce. I'm just gonna take my tongs. Take my chicken, and I'm just gonna drop my chicken in my sauce, just like that. Okay, and put it right back in my pan. Now you can use um, a brush if you want. We're doing this the fast way. Okay, take my chicken, roll it in my sauce, put it right back in my pan. I want you guys to see what I'm doing. Take my chicken. Roll it in my sauce, put it back in my pot. That's it. So this is gonna be the first coat. Okay, so this is gonna actually go back into the oven. Had I started this and did it all through the oven, my chicken would still be trying to cook. But because we went ahead and we pre-cooked it or par-fried it or whatever, crisp it, whatever word you want to use, that allowed me to not take so much time to make my little bit of chicken here. Okay, so we're gonna take it. You can do this with ribs, you can do this with chicken, you can do this with steak. It all works the same. going to go back into the oven and then in about five minutes ish I'm going to go ahead and take the rest of my sauce and put that baby down on top of the chicken All right, so let's check out my rice. My rice is done. I just used the rice cooker and made the rice. Nothing too fancy. So my rice is well cooked. Rice cook, you see? Some people like their rice more. Like Shelly, I don't business. Rice is rice. Rice well cooked, you see that? Rice cooker. I'm gonna send my dad a rice cooker so he don't ever have to cook a pot of rice again. I'll watch the pot burn. Let's cook rice in a rice cooker and done. And then this rice cooker, you can 
this rice cooker is awesome so i'm gonna put it in my amazon store you can pressure cook you can make soup you can make egg you can make rice you can slow cook oatmeal steam stew bake saute all of that so yeah this is gonna go into my amazon store and i'm gonna send one for my daddy because my dad likes to cook but you know you have to cook smarter and not harder he cooks the unsmarter way Jamaican people don't love cooked rice. They like to watch the rice. They want time the rice. They want to read the rice. They want to smell the rice. What's a rice cooker with a straight face? Mm-hmm. Put this baby right in here in my Amazon cart here. It's only $59. You cannot lose with it. It worked just fine. Mm-hmm. Has 12 different settings. You can do rice. You can do white rice, brown rice, oatmeal, chili, pasta, soup, slow cook. This one is a pressure cooker? No, this one is not the pressure cooker. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Find one for ah, here it is. So, this one is a 12 in one kickstart multifunctional programmable. Um, that's what this one is called slow cooker, rice cooker, steamer, sauteer, pressure cooker. My pressure, I'll, I'll go to that. That's something there. Ox steel, you can do anything you want to do in there. Mm hmm. Make sure this is the right one. Mm hmm This is it right here. Mm hmm I'm going to add it to the Amazon store. So the link is in my description box for those of you that don't have one. Mm hmm Grace, you got to get with it, girl. It, it's one thing that can pressure and everything. Mm hmm Real easy. No, it's not 59. Thank you, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Let me add one to my cart for my dad. I'm going to send one to my dad. I bet you he won't make another pot of rice again. He will use the rice cooker. And the inside, all you do is take out the little inside thing. It's washable. You wash it. You don't even have to wash the outside of the cooker. It's just a little pan on the, <coughs> on the inside. That's it. Mm-hmm. So it is in my kitchen finds on my Amazon store. This one is actually $89.99. They have one that's a pressure cooker plus rice cooker, eight in one for $140 that I'm not getting. Get the one for $89.99 and that's all. You don't really need anything else. Mm -hmm. $89.99. Perfecto. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. You will love it. Let's see here, make sure that he get this thing. Merry Christmas, Daddy, you got a rice cooker. That's what happens when you get older. You get appliances for your birthdays and Christmases. Merry Christmas and happy birthday. You just get a rice cooker and a pressure cooker. Can't ask for nothing more than that. That's a steal. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My dad's birthday is three days before Christmas. That is the worst birthday to ever have. I mean, your Christmas and your birthday is always combined for you. Yeah. all right in the meantime i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the tree because you guys didn't actually get to see the tree so now the tree is up and ready all right y'all ready and it twirls Isn't it pretty?
pretty. And then there's the mantle. There's my DIY for those of you. That's my DIY project from Dollar Tree. Everything came from Dollar Tree except for the three mirrors that I paid $6 for at Walmart. And then there's the mantle. There's my stockings. I put everybody's name on their stocking, including our dogs. They're sharing one. Yeah. And then there's our little reindeer. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And then I got some little gift tree thingies. So that is the mantle. And our tree rotates. It rotates in a circle. And then our little train here has the balls in it. Isn't she pretty? Yeah. Isn't she lovely? Thank you guys. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take our chicken out again, and then we're gonna just pour our sauce on our chicken. So let's go ahead and take the chicken out. And then we're gonna pour our sauce on our chicken, and our chicken is all done. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that chicken. Turn off the oven. Let that just kind of go for a second. And then I'm going to make a little bit of spinach. Gonna make a little bit of spinach. This one is really easy. Let's turn my stove on. Get my spinach. Get a nice heaping handful. Remember, with spinach, it literally withers down to nothing. Take some Himalayan pink salt, put that on there, push all of this into our little pot here. I'm just going to take my pot cover and cover it. That's it. And then once I see it start to wilt, I give it a quick turn and it is all done. Hold on, you guys.
there. <laughs> I'm back. Okay. All right, so our corn is done. We're gonna go ahead and plate. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff away so that we can plate. So for our spinach, I'm just going to give it a quick toss. It doesn't really take much, you guys. Spinach is one of those things where it's nothing but water. It literally just wilts down. So start giving it a quick turn and the cooked spinach starts to cook the other spinach. Hey, don't go anywhere. Honestly, you can just eat it like this at this point, but I like to wilt it down just a little bit. So the, the stove is actually off. And then I just give it a quick turn and we're all done. Spinach done. Pow. That's it. Let's take the chicken out of the oven. So here is our chicken. That chicken looks nice. Hey guys. Time for dinner. Chicken looks nice. All right, so let's go over here to plate. I'm just gonna set you guys right here. Adriana, Alex. It's more than just corn and chicken. Yeah, you guys are gonna eat vegetables like spinach. Um, turn off the game. All right, good. What are you trying to do, coffee? Yes, sir. It's your better. See, this is also the reason why I don't add anything else to my spinach because it makes so much water. All right, so let me get my rice. Here's our rice. Here's our corn. So I'm gonna put a little corn here. I time me, I time me for, for, for to share the food. You just sit there, sister. You just sit. All right, let's get our rice going. So we're just gonna put our little rice here. What's wrong with you? Huh? Mm -hmm. You sure? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. No more rice than that? Mm -hmm. 
Can't really miss no corn, you know. There's a lot of kids out there that don't have a corn to eat. These ungrateful children. Wow. All right. Where's my tongs? Where's my tongs? Anybody? Don't all run at once. All right, let's put our cheeky. You say it's cold? Yeah. What, in the house? No, it's just you. It is just you. You need a blanket. All right, look at that. Chicken and corn and spinach. Ooh, say ooh. What did I just say? Come to your food, please. Before I give y'all a whooping. One sauce. Please. Hmm? Please. Sure. Are Hey, Jonah, you think you're getting the cold again? Huh? You stuffy? Oh, okay. Huh? In just a moment, son. Then you can turn it up, okay? This is for your brother. I'm I was going to stop. <laughs> All the dance, 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 Nikki, you can hear your own fingers. I wasn't yet myself. Want more gravy? Want more gravy? Want more sauce? Gravy. <laughs> we don't speak like that sauce. in this household. We do not. We do not. Let's see how it goes. All right. All right. There's enough that you guys can take some to Miss R tomorrow. It's like two pieces. Okay. You want it with rice? All right, you guys, and there is my plate. Nice and good looking. <laughs> Ever. Ever. Guys, all right. She has no manners, Molly. She don't have none? Since I get the manners, you can make your little lunch for tomorrow. Are y'all done? Yes, sir. I got two little pieces of chicken here. Christian don't really eat chicken like that. He's like a vegetarian on Thursdays. So, he's all right. Y'all have water today? I did. When? I don't recall buying any water today. So, where y'all get water from? Mm -hmm. I did too. I was in the same room as you, remember? Who had water today? Me. Mm -hmm. You had water today? No. You have to drink some water first. Give him some water and then you can have the juice. Okay? You're sad, but you know what? No ice. What? Did you hear what I said? I think it's already cold. It's coming to the night. Una done? Yes, No, baby, wait. Yes. Yes. 
Thank you guys. And it looks super <laughs> yummy. This glass can you teeth, man. I don't know what made you get this green. It's driving me crazy. It's it. it looks like you've gummy me your teeth. Like you just, it it looks like somebody just took a piece of green string and just put it across your face. So, what made you get this green? I always get this green. You You're know. supposed to get red and green for Christmas. Oh no. I had ready good for Christmas all after New Year's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does not listen. Hi, Veneta. Yep, so our food is all done, you guys. So I'll show you guys for those of you just coming on the veggie plate. So here's the veggie plate, which is corn and spinach with chicken. And here's the rice plate, which is rice, corn, and chicken. So either or, this is Jimmy's plate. He said no rice, but they, they like rice. I like a small amount of rice. And then enough for them to have for lunch tomorrow. All right, you guys. Well, that was Cook With Me for tonight. I hope you guys got some good deets from our little recipe. I will be at work tomorrow, so you guys be ready to join the live. Um, while, I'll be work, while, I, while I will be working on clients, yes. Um, don't forget, Elite Bogo Friday starts this Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And then, of course, FlamesUp.net is having their Bogo sale on Friday. Also, our Canada distributor, which is Julian, EliteHairCareCanada.com. They will be having Canada Black Friday and then Elite Hair Care UK, which is Olive. Our Europe distributor will be also honoring the Black Friday sale this Friday as well. So if you're in Canada or the UK, be sure to log on to either one of their sites and shop the sale, shop the sale, shop the sale. Okay, I'll see everybody tomorrow at work. Peace.